Hi everyone, Professor Pronte here with another video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about shifting supply and demand at the same time. Um, a lot of the problems that you've been working uh, already when it comes to the supply and demand model have entailed shifting either supply or demand. And what's really useful about, uh, or what's, what's good about just shifting one curve at a time is that we have a great deal of confidence about the nature of those predictions. We can say with confidence if price is going up or price is going down. We can say with confidence if that quantity will rise or fall. But with this problem that we're going to get into today when we're shifting both the supply curve and the demand curve at the same time, uh, our confidence about what happens to one of those variables is greatly diminished. That's really the punchline. All right. One thing you need to know uh, by the conclusion of this video is that when you shift both supply and demand at the same time, we will not be able to tell if price or quantity goes up or down, right? We need to have more information before we can answer that question with certainty. Okay, so with that intro, let's get straight to it. Um, the problem that I want to show you first here is going to entail shifting both demand and supply to the right uh, or up. Right, and so what does that mean? There's an increase in demand for some reason, and at the same time, an increase in supply. All right, I've gone ahead and drawn these shifts here on a little mini board that I'm gonna show you guys right now. And so on this first one, let's take a look at my board just right here. Uh, for this first one, we have a situation where, like I said, both curves are increasing. The demand curve started over here at D1 and it increased to D2. And notice that the way that I drew that is to have it being a relatively big increase in demand. There's more demand and a lot more demand. When it comes to the supply shift, we increase that curve as well by shifting it to the right. But that supply shift I modeled here as being a relatively small increase in supply. So we have a lot more demand and a little bit more supply. Notice what happens then to the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity, which we find by looking at that intersection of our two new curves. All right. Given the way that we've modeled it here, we can see if the price was P1 and the quantity Q1 to start, once we move to S2 and D2, the model that we've got here on the board is predicting an increase in demand, an increase in supply cause price to go up and quantity to go up, right? And so you'll see here in a second that that's dependent upon how we model the problem, right? When the demand shift is more significant in magnitude than the supply shift, in other words, you shift demand a lot and supply just a little bit, you're going to have a situation where the price rises. Okay. Focus on that conclusion, that prediction that we're making here at the bottom, right? We're saying the price goes up when we shift both curves to the right. However, I'm going to show you here in a second that when you shift both those curves to the right, but make a different set of assumptions about which shift is bigger, we get a different prediction. That's our conclusion here. On our second graph that we've got right here, we're showing those same exact two shifts. The supply curve increases, shifting to the right. So we can see that going from S to S2, supply curve increased. And at the same time, the demand curve increased from D1 to D2. Right. Now notice though, on this second graph, right, we're seeing that the supply shift is bigger in nature than the demand shift. Supply increased and increased a lot. Demand increased and increased only a little. Look at what happens to the price in this case, right? When you shift it like that, when you make that set of assumptions, the price falls. And this is correct as well. Neither board that I've shown you here is incorrect. So this is really the dilemma, the dilemma that we have when shifting two curves simultaneously, right? The demand increase puts upward pressure on the price. The supply increase puts downward pressure on the price. So they're working against each other. Right? So what happens at the end once we take into account all of those shifts all at once? The answer is that it depends. If the demand shift is more uh, 
impactful, uh, if I can say that. If the demand shift is larger in magnitude, the price will go up. If the supply shift is the one that's more dramatic in magnitude, that's larger in size, then the price will fall. And so the answer choice you would want to look for when thinking about a homework problem or a test question is that uh, if you're told supply and demand is are both increasing, you want to find some answer choice that's consistent with this description, meaning we can't tell what's going to happen to price without more information about the relative size of those shifts. Okay. So that's kind of a hard one, and this is a special problem, uh, but look for that uh, type of a prediction when you're shifting both the curves at once. Uh, the example that we've been talking about here, guys, is associated with an increase in both curves. Um, if we had some different configuration, say demand went up and supply went down, or demand went down and supply went down, or any of the possible configurations of supply and demand shifting at the same time, uh, then it's possible that it's the quantity variable that we can't tell if it goes up or down, right? Our punchline is that when we shift them both, one of those variables, either price or quantity, uh, we can't tell the direction of the change without more information about which shift is larger. Okay, that's all for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.